Well, uh, Yankee Mad Dog Messiah here with you. Um, so it's been a while since I've talked some wrestling, and um, obviously, you know why, you know, just diving into the other sports that I like to get into, you know, football seasons coming up, you know, uh, thank God. Uh, we have a lot of soccer, a lot of breaking news. So um, I wanted to dive into some wrestling because uh, we're going into a time where there's going to be a lot of wrestling shows um, going into the new week. Uh, you know, you got All In. That's going to be happening. You got Payback, um, I believe, in like two weeks. And then um, All Out. So, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that is coming out. Um with wrestling wise, and we're gonna focus more on that next week. But nevertheless, um, if you woke up this morning to some breaking news, um, wow, um, we got hit with a bombshell. So this morning, um, it was reported that uh, Cash Wheeler uh, was arrested. Um, so the report came out that it was a aggravated assault. With a weapon involved. And you're like, whoa, uh, this is not good. Um, I know a lot of people in the dirt sheet community um, was into this. Now, this is what happened. Um, I get a lot of my stuff from PW Insider. So the arrest warrant was issued on July 28th. And uh, Wheeler... Uh, responded with a plea of not guilty through his attorney on August 3rd. And in the state of Florida, this charge is classified as a third-degree felony. And it is likely that uh, the incident leading to the arrest occurred several weeks ago. And this was not a thing that came out overnight. So this happened a couple of weeks ago. Uh, AEW is monitoring the situation and said Wheeler is fully cooperating with the police. So uh, that was the report that um, came out. Now, other stuff that has been coming out in the last uh, few hours. So he did plead um, not guilty. Uh, there is a video... That's out there of the arraignment. I'm not going to play it here, obviously, because I do not want to get hit with copyrights. Um, so, PW Insider also reported that Cash Wheeler was not asked to surrender his passport by the Circuit Court of Orange County. Uh, there are currently no restrictions on Wheeler traveling internationally, so he will be at all in. And another thing that has been coming out. Um, so there, the reason for this, um, gun incident is that someone in a road rage incident came out to assault him and Cash Wheeler flashed his gun to scare the individual away. And this is very tough here, people, because in Florida and you know this from what happened with uh, the, the Trayvon Martin case. And this is the most famous one here. There's a law in Florida called Stand Your Ground. And now his home address has been leaked by fans. I mean... Oh my God! I mean, this is just bad. But the stand your ground, meaning he can use the weapon in self defense. So, um, and he has no prior criminal history. So, the two big questions that I have to get into is: Was AEW aware of the incident? And then, of course, we just talked about the other one where uh, he could travel to all in, in London. Um, so uh, we will be continuing to look at the story as it becomes 
available, but man, um, this is not, I mean, we'll see what happens, you know, um, you know how I am, um, innocent into proven guilty in the court of law, and that's where we are in this, uh, situation here, but overall, it's not a good look for AEW, um, I, I am gonna say that right now, I mean, AEW, um, what a summer they've been having. I mean, the injuries and really the big topic of discussion, the politics. So, the politics is back in AEW. And this is where my main focus on today's uh, video is. And I teased this yesterday. So, I'm going to get into it. So, uh, if you don't know... Um, what has happened lately, this all steamed from last week, where it looked like, C well, I'm not going to say looked like, CM Punk went into business to himself yet again, and, you know, he mentioned Hangman Page, and throughout the whole week, there's been a lot of stories of CM Punk banning people from backstage. Uh, there was talks that he uh, banned Dow Ziggler's brother. They had an altercation. Uh, Christopher Daniels was told to leave. Uh, there was another incident where... Um, between him and Jack Perry, Jungle Boy Jack Perry. So... And people are saying, should he have that power in AEW? Now, the only person who should have the right to decide who belongs on Collision is Tony Khan. Is the one else. And in my opinion, and I got to shout out everybody in the wrestling community that has been doing videos about this. JD has done a video I mean, so many wrestling podcasters uh, in this community have done videos on this. And Tony Khan has to put his foot down and tell everyone that they're going to do what they're told. Because, hey, he's the guy running the ship. He's the boss. And the one paying them extravagant salaries to work for him. The end. And I get trying to make Punk and the Elite happy. But based on what you're seeing, no matter where you sit on the issue between CM Punk and the Elite, there's no world where there's a gossip over uh, Ryan Nemeth. That's the individual that we're talking about. Dolph Ziggler's brother. And Ryan Neiman isn't a full-time wrestler with the company. According to what I've been researching. And it, it should be anywhere near the most talked about conversation in the world. Because you're going into a show right now. Wembley Stadium, okay? And now you're bringing back this drama all over again. And as long as things are allowed to remain fragmented, though, that's what's going to happen. Because you have those that believe that they're right, and then on the other side is wrong. And then there's pushbacks, and you have to keep that roster happy in AEW. Because right now the reports are, there's not a lot of happy people in AEW. There's not. And, of course, you know, the big concern is that this is your biggest show coming up. All in, your biggest show. What happens if this becomes a bomb? It's going to blow up in Tony Khan's face. No matter what happens. So. We've all seen how. 
just rots out and it ruins great rock and roll acts and other partnerships. So, in my opinion, they should put an end to that and I would even suggest that they hire somebody, um, like a therapist. Because if you remember, uh, I'm going to get into some pop culture. You know how um, I just mentioned uh, a few moments ago um, how things have rotten out. We've seen rock bands have a lot of drama in their past. You know, Van Halen. And it almost happened um, with Metallica. Yeah, it almost did. Yeah, Metallica almost broke up. And what happened? They all got into a room with a therapist. And bam. They're still around today. If it wasn't for that therapist, we probably wouldn't even be uh, seeing Metallica perform. You got to do what you got to do, AEW, because... You know, this is kind of like um, what you, what Hogan did in the 80s. Hogan was the biggest politician in the 80s and 90s. And look what he did with WCW back in 2000. You know, he was one of the veritables um, that was part of the fall of WCW. Look at Dark Side of the Ring. They talked about it recently, the whole bash at the beach thing. That was what killed w what was the veritable that killed WCW right there. One of the veritables. So um you don't want to be in a situation where um you're WCW 2.0. Because the way that you're seeing it right now, it it really does remind me of WCW 2.0. And this is fun for the haters. Because the haters are going to come out there and be like, yeah, AEW's fallen. Yeah, that that t-shirt company, WWE, is always going to be on top. But, you know, Tony Khan, you know, he, he made a deal with CM Punk. And they're not going to get rid of CM Punk. Because Warner Brothers Discovery, it, if they get rid of CM Punk... They're not going to get that contract renewal. They won't. I'll tell you that right now. Warner Brothers Discovery will not even give them a contract renewal. Despite the fact that they were happy about that clusterfuck of a match that we saw Wednesday night on Dynamite. Um, the, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre match. And I understand it's to promote the game. Uh, the game just came out today. But... Come on, you gave us a WWE style match on TV. Nobody really cares about that. But hey, they said that that match made money for them, and uh, they AEW donated uh, the money to uh, what's happening down there in Hawaii right now with the wildfires. And for all I know, he CM Punk did apologize to Hangman Page. Um, they got no choice. Like I said, they got no choice but to work together and make Tony Khan money instead of going into business for themselves. That's how I still feel, and I'm going to say it to that day. But with all of this drama, and even with the elite and the young bucks... Uh, staying in AEW for another four years. That's what I've been told. Um, it's not going to happen anytime soon. It, it'll probably never happen. So, um, man, uh, AEW, there's a, lot, there's a lot of shit going on in that company. And right around the time of your biggest pay-per-view, as I mentioned... You had this arrest news that came out today. 
You got this politics story coming out. It's been a whole week about talking about politics and AEW and the injuries. You know, Jamie Hayter, Pac, Brian Danielson. Those could have been your three big sellers for that all in pay per view, but hey. And I understand injuries do happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. But we'll see what happens as we go into uh, the new week. Um, of course, SmackDown's going to be on tonight. I'm actually going to watch SmackDown because supposedly this is going to be Edge's last match in WWE. And already people are already like, yeah, he's going to be at All In. He's going to be at All In. I don't see that happening. I mean, I'd be shocked if he does show up at all in. Because that's a game changer right there, too. If you bring in Edge. And, and I know why people are saying it. Because, yeah, there's a, a picture out there of Edge with Dax Howard and Beth Phoenix. Already implicating that the Edge is going to AEW. See, that's why you wrestling fans are so freaking delusional. To be honest with you guys. So, um, pretty much what I gotta say, people. Till then, I'm out. Please subscribe to the channel. Peace!